Man, God bless. God bless you, brother. I'm gonna say this. First thing I notice is that you got your comments turned off. When you are a child of God, and this is why social media, social media might not be the best only. Social media only might not be the best way to relay a message. Because you can adjust your persecution. The Bible says we shall be hated by all men. And, and it talks about how we'll be hated because Jesus Christ was hated. But the thing about social media is you can adjust your persecution. You can adjust uh, what people say back. You can make yourself comfortable without getting any uh, pushback. That's why, yes, it's good to relay messages of God over social media is good. To preach the word over social media is good. To teach the word over social media. But if that's your only source, like, for example, Pastor Gino, he, 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 he don't be on social media at all, but his messages are put up on social media. But he go out around the world all over. He have to deal with the pressure that's going to come. When you can turn your comments off and, and, and have it so only you can put have an opinion, that's just you making things comfortable for yourself. You, 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 you're putting up a video making it seem like you're trying to understand something or you're trying to figure something out uh, would not require you to have other people's opinions. Not just other people's opinions, but the actual facts, which is the scriptures. Would not require that, or you do you just want to like uh, manipulate people or try to make people think the way you think? See, people, you got to look at that. Also, the Holy Spirit don't change who you are. Everybody have their own personal personality. The Holy Spirit do not change who you are. He make you better. He wash you clean, but he don't change the person that you are. So nobody acts like the Holy Spirit, 100%. Nobody. Because, see, the, the people like the brother that's uh, trying to expose Pastor Gino, a lot of these people, they got so much sin and dirt in their mind and their heart. They, and I'm not saying him specifically, but I'm just saying he got sin. No, There's nobody walking around that don't got something there. See, but they get to cover it up. They get to cover it up. You got something you're doing wrong, and a lot of times it's worse than the, your lifestyle is worse than Pastor Gino's or some other preachers. Be worse. Worse, and you're trying to point out somebody that's putting themselves and their lives at risk for Jesus Christ, the real way. Not, he, he may can turn his kind. He don't turn his comments off, but if he could, he, even if he did, he can't turn it off when he got in the world and people, when he's face to face with people in crazy places having to run from riots and things like that. So the Holy Spirit, you nobody acts 100% like the Holy Spirit. If you did, you would not be on this earth. It's no way. God uses people as they are, make them better and sin and, and sin less and less until one day in heaven they're sin free. The objective is how you just to sin less, how you walk, to sin not sin at all, how you walk, how you live, how you help people. You can't just take some a clip of a message just because you're not used to a so called ordinary preacher doing preaching a certain way. It's about how you live. Are you giving the people the truth? Are you taking care of the people? Are you feeding the poor? Feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting the ones that are sick, visiting the ones in jail. So, and my opinion, personal opinion, is the, the pastor did nothing wrong. It's like people are starting to nitpick now. It's like, first, if you can't figure out who's the Holy Spirit, if you can't figure out who is the Holy Spirit? What did it look like? On your own, you need to figure that out first. Because the Bible says you'll know them by their fruit. Now, let's look at their, their fruit. There's good fruit, there's bad fruit. 
bad fruit would be bad works of the flesh. There's so many preachers that's out here doing so much dirt. There's, there's rappers killing. There's men sleep with men, women sleep with women, and all of the above. And all of the above, all over. But you know what people do? They don't speak on that. They don't say nothing about none of that stuff. They go to the one that they know has to be humble. They go to the one that, that, that and turn their comments off so nobody, so you can get no pushback at all. So you comfortably trying to manipulate or you comfortably be trying to, you know, twist up uh, what the man is preaching, make him look bad. It doesn't make no sense. Holy Ghost doesn't act unseemly. What's unseemly is when you're sinful. When you when you when you when you're out of control to the character, when you're out of control, when you're nuts, you're buko, you ain't in your you acting out of your right mind. You're not acting in your right mind. You're acting crazy. That's not unseemly. That man ain't in the, he's in his right mind. He knows what he's saying and he's saying what he knows. And here go another thing that people need to understand. This man is another man just like everybody else. He may not be perfect. Just like, see, they accept other preachers not being perfect. They say, oh, well, he's not perfect. He do wrong. But if Pastor Gino do wrong, he don't get no excuse. Y'all don't excuse him at all. Y'all basically saying you have to be perfect. You better be perfect. You can't make no mistakes. Because we're going to be right here to judge you on it. While you got all these preachers doing all kind of dirt. Taking money, stealing money, sleeping with young boys, young girls, doing diversion, all kind of things. But if he a little too holy, see, here's what people don't never talk about. The Bible talked about just weights and measures. Scales have to be balanced. It can't tip too much this way, it can't tip too much that way, but God knows we're perfect. Sometimes it tips this way, God works with us, shows us mercy. Sometimes it tips that way. But here's what people don't never talk about. They always saying you're being too holy, but they never talk about you being too sinful. Never talk about that. Then ain't the scale supposed to be balanced? So if you're going to point this man out for being too holy, at least he's being too holy because the scriptures talk about if your righteousness ain't even up there with the Pharisees and Sadducees, you can't be his disciple. So you least got to be there. So would you rather be too sinful or too holy? If both of them God ain't pleased with, I'd rather be too holy. Nobody talks about that though. You're too holy, or they say holier than thou. That means holier than thou. But they never talked about nobody being more sinful than thou. It's supposed to be a balance. And some of these Christians judge you more than anybody I know. Judge you. The first one to tell you, you ain't supposed to judge me. Be sitting. I was I was giving my Puerto Rican wife a kiss. Married her 17 years. Been together for 20 years. Known each other for 23 years. I was giving my, I like to say married for 20 years. I always get it twisted up. But I was giving my Puerto Rican wife a kiss. Looked over, lady shaking her head at me. Just, black lady. Not that it matter because a Puerto Rican man or lady will do the same thing. Shaking their head. But the moment you talk about, oh, you're supposed to be holy. Guess what they say? You ain't supposed to judge me, but you get judged. And a lot of these people claim they're Christians. So for somebody to sit there and try to try to make it seem like, oh, Pastor Gino, Jenna shouldn't be acting like that. No, everybody's going to act their own way. You, so God knows that all of us are really foolish. All of our preaching, all of it is foolish compared to him. He don't need to do none of that stuff. But God uses the ones that's bold, that's going to be obedient and strive to be holy. Even if you're doing too much, he God see that you're at least trying to please me. That's what people don't understand. You're at least trying to please me. So what if he is a little carnal minded? I'm not saying he is, but this is what people like to call him. What if he is a little carnal minded? What about the ones that's weak, adultery minded? What about the ones that's uh, uh, lust minded? What about these preachers that's greedy for money minded? What about these preachers that's, that's uh, messing with little kids minded? What if he is a little carnal minded? And people like to use this term legalistic. I hate that word. It's a dumb word that somebody made up. Doesn't make sense. Everything is legalistic if you if that's the case. 
prison and jail is legalistic. Every single church is legalistic. If you don't believe me, go in there and, 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 and with no let, let a woman go in there with no shirt on at all. Just breast out. Since that, to let her let her go in there like that. She can't because legalistic means strict standards, rules, and laws. They have they might not have as strict, they might not be as strict. So when they use these dumb terms like legalistic, it doesn't make any sense. They just want something to say to try to make something that this man do wrong. Even if a woman go in any church with too much showing, they might show a lot of cleavage. And guess what? We men like that stuff. Well, well you should get yourself if you get that. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Just because we like that stuff don't mean that it's the right thing to do. That doesn't mean we're going to do it. Doesn't mean we're not going to uh, uh, rebuke ourselves. There's a reason you got to turn certain TV channels off. There's a reason why you can't watch certain adult films. Why? Because you like it. And you, men or women, that's trying to do right by God. Guess what? They turn it off because they like that stuff. For the women that's trying to make men seem like they oh they they so bad because you walk dressing like you dressing and they, we look we fight it off we look and then you tell us oh you need to get yourself together that's not my fault that's the same thing as you not watching uh adult films and you're trying to live holy a man and a woman and you fight it off and you turn it off because you know if you look it's going to make you want it But it's just crazy how these people like to try to call Pastor Gino Jennings out. But they ain't they. But they don't. It's on. It's they don't. They don't bother the people that's. You can go on TikTok and see people getting their head blasted off. Right on TikTok, beating each other to a bloody pulp. Preachers don't go really say too much about it. Some of them. Men sleep with men. Women sleep with women. Oh, they ain't focused on that. That's that. That don't need. Like, they, they got love too. God got to. Yes, we all have love. But. And, 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 and they're not bold enough to call that out at all. You ain't bold enough to call it. There's some of the stuff. You'll overlook. Turn your head to certain things. But when it comes to President Geno Jennings. Um, just because he's being himself. Because that's who he's going to be. Just because he got the Holy Spirit. He has the Holy Spirit. If you don't know that by now, then you don't have the Holy Spirit. He has the Holy Ghost. If you, you will, the Bible says you will know. It don't say you will know them. People know. You just act like you don't know. Or you just try to find an excuse not to hear it. Because you, because you want to live wicked. So you don't want to hear that. See, I want to live wicked too. That don't mean I'm going to stop myself. Yes, I want to live wicked. I don't want to be holy. No human in the world wants to be holy. This is why the Bible tells you kill or die daily. Why you got to die? Because you got to kill the flesh, the part of you that wants the wicked things. Anybody say, I don't want to be, I don't want to be wicked. You're a liar. Because if God said, all right, you can sin whenever, do whatever you want. They'll be the first ones out the door. Laid up, smoking, messing with everything in the world. Nobody wants to be holy uh, naturally. You got to ask God to give me a heart to want to be holy, to even want to. Or you got to start walking towards holiness. And sometimes when you're walking, you still don't want to be holy. It just starts developing on you. You start being changed slowly as you, just like Forrest Gump. When he started running with those braces on his legs, he, well, he had braces on his legs. But as he start running, running, it start breaking off, breaking off. Now there's no braces. Same thing with the holiness. And nobody wants to, start, wants to be holy. We know we have to be holy. This is why people in the world, they go around killing, stealing, doing everything in the world because they don't think they have to be holy until God wake them up. So when you say is this acting like the you can't act like the holy ghost not here on earth not with this flesh on you 
not a hundred percent. You can, you're supposed to, you, you can, but not a hundred percent. You cannot hundred percent act. Why? Because everybody has a different personality and God uses that. Per he don't change your personality. He just clean it up. That same cussing, uh, uh, anger, a uh, warrior personality you had when you get saved. Now you're not cussing. You're still a warrior, but you're not warring everything you wore specifically for God. That same quiet, subtle personality that used to cuss quietly. You do a little sin here and there. When you get saved, now you still got that same subtle personality just using it for God. That comedic personality. So stop. Stop trying to, to uh, accuse this brother because the Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And that's who you're acting like. You're trying to find something to accuse. And this is why the comment sections turn off because you don't want your mind to be changed. Now, people that really want their mind to be changed, they really want answers, they leave the comment section open freely. So people can give their advice, input. Some good, some bad. And some annoying, some not. But when you strong, you stand on what you stand on, and you mean what you say, and you say what you mean, and nobody, and, and, and you willing to change if you're wrong, you looking, maybe I'm wrong. When you really doing that, you leave it open. When you close it, you don't want, you don't want no advice. You just want to accuse. Just want to accuse. And that's what it is. So, you know, I mean, that's just my advice. I, I, I ain't got no hate for nobody, but it's time that pe people always got something to say, man. People people don't leave no leeway. Yes, I believe. I, 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 I would call Pastor Gino Jen as my pastor, even though I don't go to church, even though I, um, I don't see him always. He's my leader and God. I don't agree with everything. Why? Because he's a human. But at the same time, what I understand is God uses who wants to be used where they are. And he changes them and puts them to work with their personality. You think now all of a sudden, see, first one minute they preach, you know, and nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everybody make mistakes. Everybody have issues. But when it comes to people like Pastor Gino Genesis, oh, he got to be perfect. He can't make mistakes. He can't have issues. He can't have problems. He can't have this. He can't have that. Stop bending the rules. Stop trying to bend the rules for yourself. He's a man of God. Some say he's too carnal minded. Some say, what if he is? Some say he's holier than thou, too holy. What if he is? Don't you got problems? Aren't you too sinful? Aren't you too, too, uh, too wicked? Aren't you trying to figure out how God have mercy on you? Justify yourself, right? So don't throw the rules out the door when it comes to him. If you don't like the truth, and it's, if it's the truth, and you, you're supposed to still, you say amen to it, you agree. If you don't want to change, don't change. Just because I'm a man of God, and I'm faithful to my wife. I've been faithful. Never touched, a, haven't touched a, a woman for 17 years. Of marriage, untouched. But every single day I see something perky walking by, I gotta put myself in subject. That don't mean I don't like it no more. That don't mean I'm not like, whoa, no, I'm a man. That's my being. That's who I am. It's my makeup. I'm a man. I don't. And then if Patrick Gino starts, you better stop looking with your eyes. Which say I, I look with my eyes. You better stop looking. I'm not gonna say nah, man. He he ain't the, he ain't got the Holy Ghost now or find a reason. No, I'm gonna say you're right. But I need time to change. I ain't ready yet. That's one thing about me. I never disagree with the truth. Because when you start trying to find ways to disagree with the truth, you're gonna like I had. A, you're gonna end up finding yourself out of the truth at all, all the way. You're gonna be out if you ain't even in it. Like you, you not, you don't need you pushing the truth out to yourself. First, learn how to speak the truth to yourself. I always tell people you don't gotta rush to. I mean, well, you 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 rush to change, but don't rush to change. Meaning, like if you 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 don't gotta panic to find God. 
You don't gotta, God, I got all these issues. Yes, it's gonna hurt because it's the conviction is powerful. Now, nah, tell God the truth. God, I like lust. God, I got a bad temper. God, I'm holding a grudge on somebody and I don't wanna let it go. I wanna bust them upside their head. Tell them the truth. That doesn't mean you accept that you're gonna do it. That doesn't mean you're trying to make it right. You're just telling God how you really feel. He see it already. You can, you can close. He don't, God don't even listen to your mouth. He don't, that, that's not how spirits work. People think, the, the, when the Bible tell you to confess with your mouth, why is he saying, he's not saying that for him. He's saying that for you because when we hear stuff, when we say stuff out of our mouth, we bring it out. We make ourselves believe it more. He said, confess with your mouth. When you confess with your mouth, you make your, it goes in your ears, it goes into your heart. Now would you believe, you can say, you can think in your mind all day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a business. I'm gonna start a business all day. Nothing won't happen until you confess with your, I'm gonna start a business. I'm gonna, you say it. You learn this stuff in school. I'm say it out loud. God don't read your mouth. We need to hear mouths. The Bible, confession is made of salvation. Confession is made of salvation because when you speak it out, your ears hear it from you. You, you. you make it real. Confess your faults one to another. So, but it's not for God. He don't speak with mouths like he speaks with spirit. He speaks in spirit. So you know. Um, my advice, I can't tell nobody what to do, but I'm going to tell you this. Real men of God, I'm one of them, and I'm not saying that in a boastful way, thank God. You might not believe it. You might be looking at me like this guy's a, you believe it. People believe it. They won't say it because they people are prideful. They won't admit it. I'm a real man of God. Pastor Gino Jennings is a real man of God. You know the real ones. You can look at it. You, as soon as they walk in the door, you can tell if they real or they a nasty person. You might have to, because we humans, we have to do a little more research. We can't quite understand everything right away, but eventually the truth will come out. But you can always feel something from people. So trying to convince yourself, oh, he's done to have the Holy Ghost, you making yourself a liar. Yes, and if he do make a, 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 a sin, stop being so quick to try to say, see, I told you. So what? How is he repenting? Matter of fact, this proves, like, since you're looking at Pastor Gino Jennings like that, let's go back to David when he did what he did to Bathsheba, when he slept with the, the and got the man, her husband killed. If he was here right now, what would you say? Would you say this is a wicked man of God? Or would you say he's a holy man of God? This is how I know a lot of the church ain't spiritual. You ain't spiritual because you don't even think about that. You just, David, yes, David is the man. David and Goliath. David was great. David was a man after God. David was nasty. Was that seemly? Was that how the Holy Ghost act? Is that how the Holy Ghost act? Since you want to find out if the, if Pastor Gina is acting like the Holy Ghost, he ain't take nobody's wife and get him killed. So what about David? Was that the real? Because God said he's a man after his own heart. What about David? Explain that to me. Would you been sitting here looking, saying, you know, would, have you ever sat and said, oh, is that how the Holy Ghost is supposed to act? Is this, is this what the Holy Ghost do? Or did you say David was a king and he had all good stuff about David? But if he was here right now, what would you say? That proves right there. God uses it because man has a flesh. That flesh is always going to be a sin. The spirit is what makes them holy, not how they act. But David was also a warrior. God knew David had lust. And that's why God forgave David. And that's why he was a man after God's own heart. Because David admitted, when, once he realized, he see, sometimes we don't realize that we're doing wrong. Sometimes we just don't quite realize it. But once you realize it and your eyes open up, what you do after that? Do you repent or do you try to justify it? So once, he, once David realized... Man, I was wrong for that. Because sometimes when you're so, so driven by lust, your lust is so high up, you don't realize it. You can't realize it. You can't, it's like you ain't even thinking about it to realize it. You just want to get what you want to get. It's, it's strong spirit. But once you snap out of that, 
You know what David did? He said, oh, I was wrong. I'm going to go fast. God killed my child and I deserve it. That's accountability. Accountability. Accountability is what gets you saved. Because we all sin. We all dirty. We all wrong. We all it's, it's crazy how people think they don't sin now because you've been preaching for 40 years. You got a mega church. You always clean. You got riches. Now you all of a sudden, you know, God looking at, there was two men that came to the temple to pray. One man came to the temple. He was a, I believe he was a Pharisee. You can look this up in the Bible. He was a Pharisee. He came and said, I fast twice a week. I pray. He came bragging about all the good stuff he do. He reminded me of a mega preacher that had all this stuff together. The other man came, he head down, center. Let's just use it in this dead time. Smell like weed. And God came to him and, and, he, and he, he couldn't lift up his head. He said, I can't look at you, God. I'm dirty. He ain't saying them exact words, but you can look it up. I believe it's Luke 19, 9, 18. I believe it's Nuke 918. If it's not that, then reverse it. If, if there is an 189, it might not. But that's what gets you right with God. That's why I stopped trying to make people think that I'm, look, I ain't no, don't call me no Christian. I'm a man of God striving to be one. Don't put that label on me. You, you can. I'm not going to, I can't stop nobody from doing anything, but. Listen, I'm a man. I ain't, don't even expect. Don't even, look, I'm a man of God striving to be one. I got a mission. I ain't worrying about what you call me. I ain't worrying about how you look at me. I, I have a mission. So, you know, these people sitting back trying to find out. You can do what you want. But I'm going to tell you now, when you start digging into real people, the holy, holy people of God, you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for it. And your payment might be to be torn down. And, 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 and confession might get you back up and you might be humble one day or if you keep being stubborn you, you're going to be destroyed you're going this warning come before this i'm just telling you what i know laugh all you want say yeah right that ain't true so i'm telling you i'm not telling you in one bit of fear one bit of doubt i'm telling you when you mess with a real man of god no matter who you are no matter what you think you are you're going to pay for it unless you repent some people going to keep saying they're going to they're going to keep on going. They ain't going to listen to that. But that's that's not for me to make you do. I'm just telling you. When you start talking about real people, God, you better tread lightly. Like, that's one person I won't mess. If I if I believe you a man of God, a woman of God, I don't care if you T.D. Jakes or you 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 the dude that sing uh, Beans and Bologna. He might be a real man of God. I don't know. I ain't messing with him. Why? Because those are people I fear. Real children of God. I don't fear nothing else. Nobody else but the real children of God. Why? Because nobody else have power. All power come from God. I mean, I hope you take heed. You want to come up for destruction. Do what you want. If you want to continue on trying to judge somebody because you to justify it. I'm not saying judging is wrong because I'm a firm believer that judging is needed. In this world, when you tell somebody they're going to heaven, you judge them. Just like when you tell somebody they're going to hell, you judge them. People like to say, I ain't got no heaven and hell to put nobody in. But guess what they do? Put everybody in heaven. You just said you don't. You just judge them. Judging is judging. If you tell somebody, oh, you look good, you just judge them. If you tell somebody your car look nice, you judged it. If you tell somebody you ugly, you judged it. If you tell somebody you holy, you judged them. If you tell somebody you sinful, you judge them. So I ain't got nothing against judging, but I'm just saying, be careful how you judge and judge righteously.